Well, good evening. I'm Marshall Johnson from Philadelphia. Uh, my background is uh, similar uh, to that of uh, Drs. Uh, Prasad and Moore, uh, but uh, somewhat different also. Uh, I am not nearly the embryologist that either one of, of those two individuals is. Uh, my specialization is uh, congenital malformations, uh, that is, birth defects, and most of my research is involved with uh, grinding up uh, very early uh, embryos of various species and, and various kinds of developing uh, systems uh, to look at their biochemistry to try to figure out what is going wrong uh, that causes uh, abnormal development to take place. In order to do that, uh, one must be somewhat familiar with at least experimental embryology. Uh, and uh, it's a, a real pleasure, and I thank the, uh, uh, the uh, Muslim Students Association for inviting me here to join with these uh, two gentlemen uh, to try to shed a little bit of light uh, here in the uh, end of the, uh, the 20th century on what some writings were uh, over 1,400 uh, years ago. I first went to uh, work on this topic uh, some five or six years ago when uh, I was invited to uh, Saudi Arabia to uh, join uh, doctors uh, Moore and Prasad. I was not uh, prepped ahead of time. Uh, I have uh, known uh, these two individuals uh, for some time. Uh, but when I arrived there, uh, Sheikh Abdul Majid Zandani uh, was prepared and he had uh, about two days of questions uh, for me. And I sat and, and did the best I could uh, to answer uh, each of these questions uh, with no idea what their origin was. Uh, it was subsequent to this that I was provided with a, a translated version of the Quran so I could uh, sit uh, in the following years and have the opportunity uh, to read it. Uh, one cannot help uh, but be struck that there are many things were known which uh, uh, could not have been known uh, 1400 years ago. Uh, Dr. Prasad, I think, just gave the best overview of this I have ever heard uh, or read uh, when he talked about the various stages. Uh, those stages are uh, rather uh, precisely defined uh, in the Quran, and in fact the Quran uses some uh, stages or provides us with some stages of uh, which we've not been aware of before. Uh, when he speaks of the Alaka and Mudka stages, they are stages, and when one looks at it from hindsight, after having had these terms offered to you and the Quranic meaning uh, provided for you, uh, then as a, uh, a, a morphologist one can come back and say, yes, that is a stage. We hadn't recognized it as such. We've never had a definitive term to describe it before, uh, but certainly here is a stage. Uh, when one talks about the, um, of the bones, then being clothed with flesh, and the word then is in there so often, and the, the thens are always in the proper sequence. And these are things which uh, weren't known uh, until about 200 years ago, supposedly. The, the idea that uh, we are created from mixtures, uh, that at a particular time the external genitalia are recognizable as a, a binary, the, the, the two sexes, those kinds of things um, are rather interesting to read from a, uh, a, a book uh, which uh, was recorded uh, by a, uh, a, a simple man, uh, the prophet, uh, peace be upon him, uh, writing these things where he would have supposedly no way, no laboratory uh, with which to, to see them. And if he had the laboratory, the tools to see them with uh, had not been invented yet. The, an interesting aspect of this uh, is a concept uh, presented and espoused uh, by uh, Sheikh Zandani, and that is that many of the things which we today can recognize here in the, in the 20th century, uh, the, we can recognize these stages. We could not have recognized them 200 years ago. If the embryologists that existed 200 years ago had been asked, to identify these stages and to describe them, it would not have been possible for them to do it. 
uh, these kinds of things weren't known that uh, recently. But similarly, in the experimental uh, realm, there are still things which we are just now discovering. It has been in certainly uh, your lifetimes, but uh, because it's just in my lifetime, uh, that uh, we have come to understand a bit of what is described in the Quran uh, as the program uh, and uh, the, the planning ahead that things were determined and then it was just a program uh, that played out. That's just since Watson and Crick have come along that we have understood how that program works. Uh, Dr. Moore mentioned that there are things which we don't understand. And uh, for the past two years I've been uh, working with one and that is the idea of uh, created from clay. Well, that's something which we don't understand today, uh, but there is just beginning to appear in the, in, in the uh, peer-reviewed scientific literature ways, uh, theories, not hypotheses, but testable theories, uh, to the extent that various kinds of clays and silicas uh, can form as an organizational matrix which is not dissimilar to that, uh, from that, uh, which we would consider as the DNA template to do the kinds of things for the assemblage of and differentiation of cells, that clays can do the same kinds of things uh, to put molecules into an organi organized configuration so that then one could go to the first stage uh, up from that, and that is a, a semi-permeable membrane or a the cell membrane. So, Dr. Prasad spelled out the, the, the sequence of events which are listed in the Quran. What Sheikh Zandani is talking about is the fact that we are part of that timeline. We are also on a timeline wherein some things we think we're very wise because we can describe them today. We can describe these uh, translations today. We couldn't have done it 200 years ago there are other things which are written in the Quran which we just now are beginning to see and others are which we can't quite understand uh, just yet. So with, for me, the kinds of things that, that Sheikh Zandani is, is working with us and, and other scholars uh, uh, from the Islamic world are working, uh, we're, we're helping them, I guess, certainly, uh, are the kinds of things which are certainly very intriguing and to a scientist, uh, who is, is not a, a, a scholar in, in this area, it doesn't even speak uh, the language in which uh, the book is written in. Uh, it is, it's, it's truly a remarkable kind of, of quest and a very exciting uh, adventure uh, that one wished one could live a few hundred years so you could see more of it as it's being played out. Thank you for being here tonight.